Hi guys, Mr. Bean 35000 vr here, and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to get Custom Tractor Homebrew onto a Wii that is running 4.3 without the need for any special games as long as you have an SD card. This works via an exploit known as Letterbomb. First of all, what you need to do is boot up your Wii and go into the Wii settings. You need to check your version number, make sure it is actually 4.3. If it's not, this isn't going to work. You also need to take note of the letter that is immediately after the 4.3 it's going to be needed. Second of all, go into the uh, second page of the Wii system settings and click internet and then console information to get your MAC address and write this down or leave it on the screen, somewhere where you can see it because you're going to need it. Anyway, on your computer, put your SD card in uh, and then open your internet browser, whichever one you want to, and go down to Mario Kart Wii.com or click the link that is provided in the description to get there a little bit faster than having to type it all out. If you're taking the long-winded route, you need to go into the Mario Kart Workshop and look for the sticky called Play Custom Tracks with only an SD card, no homebrew channel required by me. Anyway, once the thread loads, what you need to be doing is uh, scroll down until you find the four newcomers for the 2.8 and look for the header labeled if your Wii is version 4.3 and has no HBC or Homebrew channel. You need to complete this letter bomb. Click the letter bomb link. Now, system menu version, click the appropriate one depending on what letter you had on yours and then type your MAC address into the six boxes immediately below, each box taking three characters, much like how the Wii has it laid out. And then, if you don't want the homebrew channel, turn off the option that says bundle the Hackney installer for me. And then complete the capture. And then click either of the two buttons below. It doesn't seem to matter which one you click. Uh, and it will give you a zip file to download. What you want to do is save as, and put it somewhere where you know where you're going to find it. In my case, I'm going to put it on the desktop because it's very easy to locate. It won't take long to download because it's very small. In fact, it's already done, hasn't it? Yeah, okay. So what you need to do from here uh, is then go into your computer. If your SD card is already in, you will be able to see it listed here. If not, put it in. And then go into it. If it's got a folder called private on it, which it might, uh, you should rename that. I recommend private old, just so you remember what it is. And that's because this download that you've just got will create a new private folder. Anyway, to extract it, you right click on the download you just did, click Extract All. Files will be extracted to this folder, click Browse. Click on your computer, and then find your SD card and click it and press OK. And then click Extract. And that shouldn't take very long, and as you can see, it puts a new private folder on. From there, what you need to do is uh, go back to the uh, custom tracks thread and download the custom track data which is immediately lo below the letter bomb link. This is from 4Shared. You have to click the download now link and it will ask you to wait a significant while before it lets you actually download anything. It's all a scam. They, are, they want you to pay to make it go faster. But yeah, if you actually wait it out, the download link does in fact appear. And there it is. Click the download file now. Don't get fooled by any of those download links that you might see on the page. And again, it will offer you a zip archive. You know what you want to do? save as and put it somewhere again where you remember it like the desktop because the desktop seems to be a useful place to store things although it will get cluttered if you do that a lot anyway once it's done which will not happen that fast I did skip ahead uh, you need to right click extract all and vastly the same as before click the browse button go into your computer find the SD card click it click OK and click extract. And this one will take a little bit longer because, uh, well, frankly, it's much bigger. As you can see, it's going to be 94 megabytes. It's quite a hefty space requirement for the custom tracks, but if you've got a relative size SD card, then you're going to be fine. I can certainly fit everything into a 1 gig SD, and I know people have fit them into much smaller. 256 megs I've heard has been done. Anyway, if you are interested in the latest, latest custom tracks, which are a bit in testing, uh, you want to get the 4.4 custom track pack which you can find by scrolling up uh, and it's here there's two separate downloads one for PAL users and one for NTSCU users if you've got anything else I'm afraid you can't uh, have them because uh, it makes these packs make some 
changes to how Mario Kart Wii functions and they're region specific and we simply don't have all the Mario Karts in the world so we can't make all the packs but they will be in the next update but anyway if you are NTSC you or pal and you've got and you want to try out these uh, latest tracks it's not the four shared link it's gonna make you wait again probably longer than before when it finally uh, is done you wanna click the download file now button again uh, save as mm. Again, put it somewhere where you're going to know where it is. Uh, again, I'm going to put mine on the desktop for the sake of these. And when it completes, which I think I was prepared for. Yeah. Uh, when it completes, uh, what you want to do is right click, extract all. Again, click browse. Navigate your computer and find your SD card. Click OK and then extract. Only this time it's going to ask you whether it can merge and overwrite files. What you want to do is say yes. Yes every time it comes up or click the do for everything to make it go away faster. You'll do it again at the end. But this time you want to do, do this for the next one complex and copy and replace. If it asks you twice then do it twice. Last thing you need to do is go into the apps folder on the SD and revolution and find either boot.elf or boot.doll right click and click copy then go up two folders back to the root of the SD card where you started and right click and paste and it puts the boot off on the root of the SD card this is needed for how letterbom works anyway that's the hard part done what you need to do now is just put your SD card into your wig from there and once it uh, registers the SD card is present you want to go onto the Wii message board and then scroll back pages until you see the red envelope with a bomb in it. Once you click on it, this is going to happen. It makes a slight graphical spaz, but that's nothing to worry about. What will happen after the graphics finish messing around is that Revolution is going to load. And Revolution being the primary method of launching custom tracks. Anyway, if you're running for if you've got the 4.4 download like I demonstrated, it's gonna look something like this when you get it. Uh, what you want to do is go to page 2 and change these two options to the ones I've set them to here and then click the install button to put a revolution channel onto your Wii menu uh, so you don't have to click that uh, exploding red envelope every time you want to launch the custom tracks although it's up to you if that's the way you want to do it uh, also I made a mistake in the original distribution of this pack uh, and you should turn off this option here called Beans Intro, because it's going to give you Beans Intro anyway, but it will make sure it gives you the right version number. As you can see at the top left that says 4.4, that's what it's meant to display, and that is how you would get the custom tracks running on 4.3 without a need for any special games, just your SD card. And if you want instructions on how the 4.4 pack works, then uh, I've also got a video on that, I'm going to link it in the description, uh, because it's a slightly unusual pack using uh, more tracks than the game has available in the first place uh, so selecting the tracks becomes interesting as you will just see here because all the names go to question mark but yeah uh, now just to demonstrate it works so I'm loading Mushroom Peaks here and I think that's about all I need to say on the matter so thanks for watching and credit to Team Tweezers for releasing this although I can't believe their work is a bit uh, plagiarized, if I if my sources are correct. But if the uh, true author of this uh, emerges and releases his version of it, I will use this. I will use his one instead because that's only fair. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy custom tracks.